What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my VCV Rack tutorial series. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Today we are looking at part one in a two part episode on quantizing. Today we're going to be dealing with quantizing CV or quantizing vertically. And on the next episode, we're going to be dealing with a little bit more of a complicated technique, quantizing horizontally or quantizing gates and triggers. So stay tuned for that one as well. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet and you're keen to check that one out because it'll be coming out next week, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, let's dive into the patch that we've got so far. Quantizing CV is actually pretty simple with VCV Rack. There's a couple of third party modules that'll sort it out for you. All you need to do is punch in the sort of notes and stuff that you want to quantize to. So yeah, let's dive in and I'll show you what modules I generally use for quantizing. So if you've been following along to the series so far, we've kind of built ourselves a sort of techno uh, patch. And what we're going to want to do now is we want to sort of start bringing the tonal elements sort of in tune together, rather than just kind of triggering the CVs on uh, sort of random voltages, we want to sort of stick them to a particular scale. I like to use this Bacon music, Quant Eyes. Reason being is it's got three inputs and three outputs. So you only need one module to be able to quantize three different signals to the same scale. And it's got a very easy to use root CV that essentially just transposes the, the, the scale to whatever you want it to be. So say for example, we want to set our track or our patch into a C minor scale. What we need to do is we need to turn off all these notes that aren't in the C minor scale. And then if we send a CV to the input and then the output to wherever that CV was going, it's going to snap that into the C minor scale. So let's put it in line here from our row one output into our oscillators and listen to the difference that it's gonna make. So now if we start adding other elements, like other synth sounds, maybe a pad or a chord or something like that, and we run it through this CV quantizer, we're gonna get a much more sort of put together sound. I mean, everything's gonna sound like it's in tune and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let's quickly add in another oscillator and let's look at sort of triggering it with some, some different CV signals. One of the really cool things about using a quantized CV signal is you're not limited to using sequences. You can use LFOs, envelopes, you know, random sample and hold generators to create pitch for different oscillators. So let's, for example, create a pad sort of sound and trigger the different notes using a sample and hold generator. So I'm gonna add another even VCO. I'm gonna add the Bog Audio SNH. I'm gonna send this output into the input over here. And then I'm gonna send the output into the V-Oct of the even VCO. We're starting to reach the sort of uh, maximum capabilities of this mixer in the Bufaco series. So what we can do is we can actually find a sort of more suitable mixer that's gonna be able to mix more channels. So let's go with this eight channel mixer over here and let's just quickly route these into the different inputs. So this mixer is cool because it's got stereo. So now we have the ability to kind of pan things left and right and we kind of open up a little bit more options in, term, in terms of mixing uh, the signals. And the nice thing about this mixer as well that I discovered is it's got mute buttons built in. So we can start to clean up our patch. We can sort of remove this mute module and sort of start to, to um, 
sort of send things directly without it. You know, we kind of save a bit of space there. So what's happening is the sample and hold that's being generated is obviously the, the range is so wide that it's triggering notes, you know, way above the octave range and way below the octave range. So what we can do is we can use what's called an attenuverter to sort of even out the signal before sending it through to the CV quantizer. So let's put this out in line with the attenuverter and then this sort of attenuverter button or this attenuverter knob is what's going to control the amount of range that the CV generator has. So let's listen to what's going on. That is how you quantize CV signals in VCV rack, or at least how I do it with the Bacon Music Quantize module. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Stay tuned for next week's episode where I show you guys how to quantize horizontally. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. See you guys next time.